Dear viewers, greetings. In this present video, we are going to see about the guidelines for the uh, collection of various clinical samples like uh, blood, cerebrospinal fluid, uh, sputum, urine, uh, stool sample, throat swab, hair, nail, uh, skin, uh, ear and eye. And in this video, we are going to uh, discuss about three important things. Uh, one is the general guidelines for the collection and transport of the clinical samples. Second one, the major criteria for the rejection of uh, clinical samples and the labeling of the clinical samples. Uh, first, general guidelines. Apply strict aseptic technique throughout the procedure. Uh, wash your hands uh, before and after the collection of clinical samples. Collect the specimen at the appropriate phase of diseases. Uh, collect or place the specimen aseptically in a sterile or appropriate container. Uh, ensure that the outside of the specimen container is clean and uncontaminated. Uh, close the sample container tightly so that its content do not leak during the transportation of the sample. Uh, label and date the specimen container appropriately and complete the requestation form with proper details. Uh, next, arrange for immediate transportation of the specimen to the laboratory. Uh, the clinical specimen should be collected before the administration of the antimicrobial agents. The specimen should be prevented from contamination with externally present organisms or normal flora of the body. Uh, next, uh, criteria for the rejection of uh, clinical samples. Uh, the following are the criteria uh, for the rejection of the clinical samples. First one is the missing or inadequate identification. Uh, second, insufficient quantity. The third, specimen collected in an inappropriate container. Uh, fourth, contamination suspected. Uh, fifth, inappropriate transport or storage. Sixth, unknown time delay. And seventh one, hemolyzed blood samples. And next, finally, uh, labeling of clinical specimen. Uh, each clinical sample uh, must, ha must have a label uh, firmly attached to the specimen container uh, bearing the following information like uh, patient's full name, patient address, patient's uh, sex or gender, uh, patient's date of birth, hospital number, consultant details, sample site, date and time of sample collection, and finally, initial or signature of the sample collector. And that's all about the general guidelines for the collection of clinical samples. Thank you. Thank you for listening.